By that time, it would have been about the back of 11. And I was thinking about doing the hoovering, but I didn't really feel like it. It was near enough time to go to my mother's anyway. So I got on my coat and went to the shops for her messages. I got to the shop and it wasn't that busy, so I got around quite quick. I got all her usual, her bread and milk and cheddar and jam, her tetley and all her cakes and biscuits. I met Linda McQuaker coming down the road, so I stopped to talk to her. First time I'd seen her since her boy got married, so I was asking her how he was getting on, and she says, ah, he's doing fine, he's soon Hamilton now. Her daughter's engaged as well to a boy for London, so she was telling me all about him. By that time, it was about quarter to twelve, so I said, I better get on. I missed the bus round to my mother's, so I just walked. It's only about four stops from the shops. I went up to her front door and I knocked and banged about three or four times till she heard me. And then I waited until she looked through the spy hole to see if it was me. She says, is that you? I says, aye, it's me. And she went away to find her big bunch of keys to open all her locks. When I got in, I took her messages through at the kitchen and she says, I thought you were never coming the day. It kept you. I missed the bus, I says. I put her messages in the fridge and the cupboard and that and told her everything I'd go at. She says, I don't know why you get these kind of biscuits. They're too hard. I made her some tea and sat down with her and she told me how the home helps still stealing their good dusters and everything. She asked how Michael was getting on at school and I told her it's two years since he left. It was about two o'clock by the time I got away from you. There was a bus at quarter past two, so I got that. By the time I was crossing the main road, it must have been about quarter to three. I walked up the street and turned into the close, and Jesus Christ was standing there right in front of me. I went down on my knees and says, my Lord and Saviour. He says, come on, you get up. I was just coming up to you for a cup of tea. 